What's going on YouTube? Jason Whitaker, the DIY Dad, and we are back for another video. And today we're going to talk about landscape lighting. Uh, the picture that you see in front of you is the landscape lighting when I bought the house. It was full of, you know, those little solar pathway lights and some solar lights up in the gutter. And I really wanted some more dramatic appeal to my house. Now I'm also going to say that I am not an expert at landscape lighting. So um, I reached out to uh, a friend of mine, Scott Alio from Complete Irrigation Solutions here in central Indiana to help me out. Now the reason I reached out to Scott is because I do not know how to bore wire underneath sidewalks, uh, exactly what kind of equipment I wanted or needed. <clears throat> so Scott was just a really great source of information and knew the ins and outs of the business because this is his business. So one of the first things we looked at was, uh, you know, a transformer uh, and also a timer for the landscape lighting. Uh, he was able to hook me up with a, a digital astronomical timer so I don't have to adjust anything for daylight savings, um, just make my life super easy. So the next thing we had to look at was what kind of lights were we going to use for uh, the landscape lighting. Um, we decided to use uh, spotlights and floodlights in combination around uh, the various parts of my house to make the house look very dramatic. So again, here's the before picture. And here is the after. Um, what you can see is that we use the floodlights in between the windows and the corners uh, just to throw a lot of light up against the wall. We also used a couple of spotlights uh, on the first roof uh, just to highlight the house of the second story, which a lot of people don't do. Um, we also use spotlights underneath the uh, tree right in front of the house. Um, floodlights around the corner and on the opposite side of the house. And here's another view of the front of the house. I apologize for my vehicle being in the way, but you can see how we highlighted the two front trees um, and it really uh, makes the house stand out in the neighborhood. Here's a shot of the house around the corner, uh, highlighting the uh, front door. And here's a picture of uh, one of the trees out in the front yard. You can see how the lights um, Appear from below and all the shadows uh, of the branches just super dramatic and here's another shot of a tree all lit up here's the tree that's closer to the uh, front door um, near my neighbor's house again just all the branches the shadows very dramatic all right here's another overview shot of the house um, again, I think Scott did a, an excellent job. If you are the go-getter DIYer, um, you can do this yourself, or you can do the uh, same route that I took and hired a professional because I would know I get professional results. Uh, another thing that was great about Scott was I was able to send him these pictures and, you know, he would make, he would come back to the house and make any little adjustments um, which is awesome. Uh, a lot of follow-up on his part. Um, so again, this is another reason why I'm recommending him to anybody that needs uh, lighting work or um, irrigation work. Please contact Scott. He will do you right. Um, and please make sure you like and subscribe. I'm the Jason Whitaker, the DIY Dad, and I'll see you in the next video.